Elvira, Mistress of the Dark is a survival horror video game developed by Horror Soft and released by Accolade in 1990 for the Amiga, Atari Street, Commodore 64 and MS-DOS computers. It was Horror Soft's second published game after 1989's Personal Nightmare and stars the actress Cassandra Peterson as her character Elvira the Witch. In Mistress of the Dark, Elvira is held captive by dark forces in the castle of her ancestor, Lady Imelda. The player's character is to enter the castle to rescue Elvira and prevent the imminent return of the long-dead evil sorceress. The well-received game was followed by Elvira II, The Jaws of Cerberus in 1991 and the spiritual successor Waxworks in 1992. Gameplay. Elvira is a mix of first-person shooter role-playing game point and click adventure game. Topic: <inaudible> Plot. <inaudible> <inaudible> the game begins following events of the 1988 film Elvira: Mistress of the Dark. After the death of her evil uncle Vincent, Elvira has inherited Kilbragant Castle and has restored it to its former glory, planning to turn it into a tourist attraction for horror fans. However, while doing this, Elvira has inadvertently awakened a horde of monstrous followers of her distant ancestor, the powerful wicked witch Imelda. The monsters imprisoned Elvira in the castle and began preparations to use her for the return of their mistress. The player's character has been called upon to help by Elvira to help her prevent Imelda's resurrection. The evil sorceress died centuries ago before she could take over and rule the world, but has made a pact with the devil to be brought back to life in the future. In the beginning of the game, the player is captured by the sorceress's undead minions. He is then rescued by Elvira and asked to help get her powers back, and to find a way to send Imelda back to hell before it is too late. Topic. Reception Elvira was well received by critics. Leah Visilovsky of Computer Gaming World in 1991 praised the game's graphics and music, stating that it was, like its namesake, something to notice for many of us. Scorpia in 1991 and 1993 praised the graphics, stated that it was not easy, and concluded that, it's definitely worth playing. Elvira won the magazine's 1991 Role-Playing Game of the Year Award. See also Elvira, the arcade game